What's up, guys? It's Tuna. I wanted to talk to you guys about new gloves that I got a couple days ago called, you know them, they're called Hate Forge. And um, my love hate relationship for these gloves. So, as you know, I, I really like Val skills, right? Um, you saw my previous video maybe about the Val Storm call and things like that. And I was having a lot of fun with it. It's a fantastic build. Um, I still have all the gear here. I'm not giving up on that. But um, this league, I've been enjoying just trying new things out. I have the currency to do it, so... I just wanted to test things out, and uh, I wanted to see what the hype is about with these gloves. As you can see, my gear is like... It's not been maxed by any means. I'm sort of using uh, half of the gear that I was using on my self-chill uh, self berserker. So it's a very good staff. I, have a, I made a pretty damn good chest with uh, elevated explode. And, um... Yeah, I mean... I'd like to talk about the gloves, right? The gloves let you spam uh, an attack skill. So it essentially makes you use rage instead of souls. And uh, you get a rage cost of 26, which puts you under um, the threshold for getting temporal chains inflicted on yourself through the rot blood's promise, um, which then is regenerated through um, chain breaker. And once you regenerate over 25, you get full rage again. So that creates this loop of, of you basically going under 25, going over 25, and then regenerating into full, which allows you to do this, right? And just essentially allows you to spam over and 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 over. And, over. and uh, yeah, you can see that uh, it melts graphics cards, basically. But um, the thing about these gloves that I uh, really don't like is how restrictive they are in regards to locking up your item slots um and locking up your ascendancy so you have to play them as pathfinder because you need enough flask effect to get um no soul gain prevention so as you can see it's six seconds soul gain prevention and uh when i use the soul catcher um okay hello oh i pressed the wrong flask <laughs> okay let's let's do that one again okay hi pro uh this is uh yeah pro youtuber here anyways when you use soul catcher that becomes zero, right? So that lets you spam. Um, but yeah, as in, you're very restricted because you're using Chains of Emancipation, you're locked into a ring, and you're locked into a glove slot. And that is three items that are locked into your build that, in my opinion, uh, make the build very limited in what it can do. And um, that wouldn't really be too much of a problem for me, right? If I thought the build was actually insane. Which, unfortunately, I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. Uh, if you guys know, I put out a build guide video about the self-chill berserker. And uh, in my opinion, the self-chill berserker has not only better clear, as faster movement speed. Um, and it is, uh, I think, just a lot more satisfying to uh, to play because it also has better single target, right? That, that build can reach up to 60 million DPS. But yeah, I went through the, the process of... Um, building it with a staff everyone's been building it with a claw i built it by uh converting my physical damage uh, to lightning half of uh half of that is converted to lightning through uh lightning strike here converting 50 percent and then i converted uh 20 percent uh here with winter spirit with this thread of hope which is a really good thread of hope i got one pierce there as well and then i'm converting a 30 percent here with a watcher's eye which also gives me crit multi with precision which is really good um, I'll do a quick map just to show kind of what it's like. Uh, I should have some maps here. Valdos Rest. Uh, I guess we can do it beyond. It doesn't really matter. And uh, so yeah, let's just run that real quick. And I can talk about the build as we play it. Uh, my choice of uh, my choice of flasks ended up being Vessel of Inktar, Dying Sun, and Taste of Hate. This is because I like the less damage taken for all three of these elements. So that's 20% scaled by uh, my flask effect, which is currently, I believe, 80% flask effect. So it's basically 20% uh, less damage. So we can do it here. 20% um, multiplied by 1.8. I'm taking 36% less damage for uh, lightning, fire, and cold. And that is also, uh, you know, 20% uh, of physical damage uh, taken as cold. So that is also 36% physical damage taken as cold, which is really good. So we're mitigating physical damage and we're mitigating elemental damage and we're phasing and we have max dodge as well because we have 
12% dodge here and um, elusive there, which pretty much caps us with our soul catcher. So the build is kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of tanky, right? So uh, let's sort of show how it is. Oh yeah. Uh, I haven't invested too much into my mana regen, which is something that I should do if I want to min-max this build, but I just wanted to sort of try it out. So this is kind of how the build looks. I'm running Herald of Ash and Explode. So the Herald of Ash kind of helps with the clear. Uh, it's not there for damage. It's mainly for clear because it's one of the things I like the least about this build is how it clears. Um, so I added Herald of Ash and Elevated Explode. So I'm able to sort of... Uh, I'm going to die to uh, Corrupting Blood here. <laughs> I still need to get a few things for this build, as you can see. But um, yeah, essentially, uh, I just want to help the clear as much as possible and get that, you know, as, as good as it can possibly be. The build is relatively tanky, right? Because of the dodge and the less damage taken. Um, and uh, sometimes we get fortified if we strike with a melee hit. So, But the problem with that is that we actually have to name lock ourselves to a monster. So um, we actually have to walk up to a monster and hit it. I'm not going to loot. I'm just going to sort of show you guys what it's like to play this build um, very quickly. So, I mean, it looks pretty cool, right? Like, uh, there's projectiles everywhere. The clear is pretty good. It's almost like a, a strike bow skill, right? Just like the self-chill berserker. And, and it clear, the clear is not bad. Uh, the coolest thing about it is probably how it clears ultimatums. So, we can sort of see here what it's like. I just stand in the middle and... Um, yeah. It melts your graphics card. That's, that's, that's what it looks like. Um... You stand in the middle, you strike the ground, and it creates all these projectiles, which then uh, auto-target. Pretty cool, but... Um, I've got to be completely honest with you guys. This playstyle... This is just not for me. This is not zoomer enough for me, let's just say. But the reason why I don't like this is because... It's not fast enough. It doesn't do enough damage for what you put into it, so... Um, and as well as that, the fact that you cannot use a headhunter. So this item right now is more expensive than headhunter. It's about 150x. And uh, it's way more build enabling than a headhunter itself. But it's it's way more restricting as well, right? Um, you cannot, you can, there's very few Val attack skills that you can actually use. And um, I'm going to be trying them all. I'm not giving up on the item just yet. I know it, it's going to upset a lot of people saying like, Oh, you built it wrong, blah, blah, blah. But um, essentially, what I'm just trying to do is get an idea of how it feels like to play with these gloves. Um, the damage is not that much of an issue. The, the clear speed is just dependent entirely on how fast my character moves, and that's already pretty restrictive. Um, because we're not self-chilling, we're not getting speed auras from Headhunter and things like that, right? Um, but yeah, essentially, I just wanted to put out this video real quick to let you guys know that... Um, you are missing out, but you're not missing out that much. I don't think these gloves are going to be staying in the game because I think permanent Val skills are not something that she, she intended or wanted to have. It might have further implications in the fact that it, it it might be bad for the servers. So I don't think that's something that they actually really want. And um, overall, my verdict is fun gloves, very build restricting, too expensive. Not good enough to warrant spending 150 eggs old and sacrificing three items. So yeah, there it is. That's my take on Hateforge, boys. And I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Love you. Bye-bye.